Hello and welcome to another episode of Dear D2R Dev, where we make suggestions offline on Hero Editor for crappy uniques that never got rebalanced after rune words got added. Um, they seem totally outclassed by a lot of other items. They don't seem to have a place in the game anymore. And most importantly, their rarity does not suggest how powerful they should be. Okay, so something that's really rare, you find it, maybe you've been playing the game for like a month, maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe five years, and you finally find this item, and you go, this is, I can't use this for anything. That's weird. That sucks. And so, it's like, oh cool, I found this, I've never found this before, and I can't use it for anything. I would like to try and just make suggestions to that one D2R dev who's just holding the fort down, keeping the servers going, you know, there's a leak in the roof, and it's about to drip on the server and crash all of Battle.net, but he's there, he's got a bucket collecting that water and he empties it, you know, every once in a while. That guy. I want to make some suggestions, and they got to be easy, too. This is the thing. Easy suggestions. Stuff that he could, he could do while he's drinking coffee, you know? No coding required, just a couple little tweaks here and there. So here's what I got today. Stormspire. Dear D2R dear dev, Stormspire sucks, all right? Um, it is an elite treasure class 87 item it's very hard to find um i found it a few times like maybe twice on non-ladder and once on ladder last season and it's always disappointing let's take a look at it and to give context really quick reaper's toll is s tier and it is tc treasure class 70 something 72 okay much easier to find, very useful item. Great on mercenaries, great S tier on a dru Fury Druid. But let's look at the Storm Spire. First of all, I like that it has like a blue hue to it. That's kind of cool on the blade. It's required level 70. You need a lot of strength and dexterity to use it because it's a giant thresher. And it has, let me go to the original one, sorry. The original has 5% chance to cast level Chain Lightning when struck, 2% chance to cast level 20 Charge Bolt when struck. 30% increase attack speed, 250% enhanced damage, and it can low, roll as low as 150. Adds 1 to 237 lightning damage, 10 strength. 50 lightning resist is kind of nice. Attacker takes lightning damage of 27, which, you know, there are other items that have that, like a High Lords, but you can't really boost attacker takes lightning damage of in any meaningful way. So it's kind of a wasted stat. The 10 strength is kind of like whatever you're already putting in a bunch probably to get to 188 anyway um the lightning damage you can add to that with charms and facets and things like that so that's something the attack speed is nice the enhanced damage is whatever and the thing is indestructible so you can't this particular item cannot roll ethereal so you couldn't try to get an ethereal one and then put a zod in it or something right so there's a lightning theme you can see with all that, there's one, two, three, four, five different lightning mods, and it's called the Storm Spire. And look at the low chances for these when struck things. They're just never, they just don't happen, and the damage is so low, you can't synergize it with anything but a sorceress, and even then, they're not very good. So it's like, what do you do with this item? Uh, you chuck it on the ground. That's what you do with it. So here's what I've done. Check it out. I've kept some things the same for the theme. So attacker takes lightning damage of 27 is the same. Lightning resist 50, the same. 1 to 237 lightning damage, the same. 250% enhanced damage, I left that the same. I left the attack speed the same, 30%. What I changed was I gave it ignores target's defense because the Reaper's Toll has ignores target's defense and it is an easier find and it's also an elite thresher so i felt as if this at least deserve ignores target's defense i also added negative seven to enemy lightning resistance and plus 27 to lightning skill damage on this thing the 27 and seven is because of the sevens that i saw in the itemization already 237 lightning damage 27 lightning uh, attacker takes lightning damage of and then I kept that 7 theme and I put 20% chance to cast level 37 Chain Lightning on Striking, 20% chance to cast level 37 Charged Bolt on Striking. And if you think that that's too high, 
of a chance or a level, just hold on a second. On the screen now, there is a graphic of what the damage is. I calculated this. So chain lightning at level 37 hits 12 times. Um, and it's 1 to 676 lightning damage. So that's 12 bounces, right? Charge bolt at level 37, 24 bolts, and 53 to 56 lightning damage. So if you multiply 56 by 24, you get somewhere around 1300 something, okay? That's with the 27% lightning skill damage that's on the weapon now that I placed, okay? You could buff that further with something like a faceted armor, right? Perfect facets. If you think this is unobtainable, well, I actually found this base on ladder this season. And then I have perfect facets on non-ladder. I have an armor just like this with Frost Nova shield. Um, okay. So, and then I, I, I put on a High Lords that has nice mods for melee attackers and it has lightning damage. T-Gods, Dwarf Star, Raven Frost, Drax for um, the life tap, Gore Riders. And, you know, if you were using Metamorphosis, that would be an all right weapon. But I think we'll try to push the, the lightning theme. Put a dream on, okay? So here's a dream helm. So if you wanted to push it further, what could you socket into this? You could do a facet. You could do a shale for more speed. You could do a burr rune for more crushing blow, which I think I will do. Okay? So let's say I put a burr rune in this, and now I have 20% chance of crushing blow as well on the weapon. That makes it pretty good. And on druids, they have fast frames for, for pole arms. Mercenaries got infinity, chains of honor, and I made this... Artisan's Tiara of Life Everlasting with Soul Mal Mal for damage reduction. So he lives even longer. Thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, he's Might and he's got Infinity. So we can further boost our the Lightning Pot potential, right? Let's say you were playing the game and you found some charms that have max damage attack rating, like a Grand Charm here. Maybe you found another one. And then maybe you pre-buffed, you know, with, with summons for for this Heart of the Wolverine or something. So there's four skillers here, and then maybe you found some lightning charms. So here's some that rolled in the 40s. You know, those aren't top tier, but they're kind of nice. And then maybe you got some resistance charms and a torch and annie, okay? So that's kind of what I'm simulating with the inventory. Um, and then just for the Max Fury here, uh, we got a bunch of points into Lycanthropy, a bunch of points into Werewolf, all right? So, um... Let's go see, let's go to Frigid Highlands and just see how it performs. So let's get the mercenary up there. So conviction's on. This is P1 offline, right? The words on the screen, if you skipped ahead, are the the uh, damage that is can be outputted from the chance to cast Chain Lightning and Charge Bolt on Strike with the 27% lightning skill damage that's on the weapon. And now we've buffed that further with facets here. And with conviction, you know, and there's lightning damage on the weapon, lightning damage from the dream, lightning damage charms, T gods, high lords, right? Okay. So now, this item is rare. It's TC class 87, you know, um, and this does not replace the dual dream setup that you could try with a crescent moon, or, you know, or anything like that. And just so you know, like negative 35 on Crescent Moon is very powerful. And that weapon also has Ignorus Target's defense. And it has static field and chain lightning procs as well. So it's it can do some of the similar things that this can do. And it's much cheaper to make, you know. Um, especially in a three socket pole arm if you were going to do that with a druid. Because nobody wants three socket pole arms. Alright. So how would this fit in then? It would be a rare weapon that would be slightly better than a crescent moon perhaps okay and it does provide a massive bump, bump to lightning resistance which is nice which pairs nice with t-god see lightning resistance 85 right now um so let's go to another area let's try river of flame and just see this this 85 area here let me get the feral rage up and now use fury Sheet damage says we're doing 8,174 with Fury in the top end. And a lot of that is lightning being buffed, you know. 
So this would be kind of a niche use item, you know? Like, you're gonna use this on Fury Druid, maybe a Zealer, with Holy Shock because of the skill damage. You could try that. Um, it would compete a little bit with a Crescent Moon. Um, and the nice thing about it with all the lightning is that you won't have to worry about physical immunes, you know? So that's kind of what I was thinking with it. That's how it would fit in. It's like, okay, a little bit, some lightning damage, you know, a few thousand lightning damage when I have it all stacked up finally. Um, and then I, and, I, and I've amassed some crushing blow with a Burr Rune in there and a Gore Riders. And I've got Deli Strike here, Deli Strike here. So that's kind of nice, you know? Um, the, the, the physical damage ain't crazy on this, right? It's not crazy, but that's okay because we've, we've, we've gone into the lightning a little bit. So this is how I think I would balance the Storm Spire to make it useful. I would keep a lot of the things that the original has. I would just enhance what it's trying to do, the item it's trying to be. Okay? So let's go up to City of the Dant. All right. Let's go up here. There's going to be a lot of lightning immunes in here. All right? So let me... Uh, let's, let's engage with some of them and just see how the physical aspect of the weapon is doing with the Ignore Target's defense and the Burr Rune we put in there. So, so these guys are immune to poison, that's fine. Not bad. Those guys down there are immune to lightning, so let's go check on them. Alright. More, more, more poison immunes. Okay. A lightning immune. Alright. These guys, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. And this doesn't replace Reaper's Toll. You know what I mean? Reaper's Toll is S tier still. And easier to find. But you might be kind of, you might be kind of excited to find this now, because then you could use some of your faceted armor that you made for some of your off-meta builds, you know. Now let me show as well. Let me show something as well here. Let me kill these guys, and I want to show something as well. What if you wanted the teleport? What if you were like, I don't like not having teleport. Let's just see how it does without the faceted armor, okay? Without it. Let's just see how it does. So no faceted armor. Okay. We've got teleport now. Heart of the Oak and Spirit on swap. So let's say we want to do that and then swap. And we got the run walk from the Enigma now. Now our damage says 7,700. Okay, so we're not in the 8,000 range anymore. But we're still doing pretty good, you see? So. Okay. Feral Rage and Fury. Those guys are lightning immune. We still took care of them. So you'll notice that without the lightning damage on this, without the mods I put on it, when I'm fighting the lightning immunes, that's kind of how the weapon performs already. You know? On players one. So, but the extra lightning is just, when that's coming off, like you can see on the screen, right? Just think, 1300 or so damage on the charge bolt if it hits, if all of them hit the guy that you're right on top of, and then the, the extra 600 damage or so, and it bounces, and maybe it, maybe it travels back and hits him again, and maybe it procs more than once. You know, maybe it procs more than once and comes back around and hits him again. So you, you could be thinking a couple thousand or so lightning damage, just kind of top, just added on the top end every once in a while of whatever damage is here showing on the Fury uh, character sheet, you know? And that's not including the crushing blow or the deadly strike, right? So this would be kind of a cool build, lightning themed. It's called the Storm Spire. That's what it's trying to do. And I'm just trying to help it be what it wants to be, you know? Okay, so that's the Storm Spire. And let me know what you guys think about these changes that I'm recommending to that one dev man who's just sitting there keeping the servers going, you know? Um, and they got to be easy changes. And it has to work, okay? Um, it can't be, like, we don't want to create new mechanics. Like, we don't want to create a, a new skill tree or something for the druid that's all lightning based or something that's not what we're trying to do we're not trying to change the game right um we're just trying to show what could be a potential so okay let me go back to town 
Let me put on that blue armor because it looks cool. So yeah, I mean, do you see how the Enigma was still like probably best in slot? <laughs> um, this was just like if you really want to go into the lightning, you know, this faceted armor, which, you know, I have done before and that's cool. You could even improve upon that more if you got an inventory of the lightning charms, you know. But yeah, so that's it. That's what I think the Storm Spire could be, you know. First iteration as well. Doesn't have to be the only iteration. So thank you for checking that out. Let me know if um, uh, people have told me too in the live streams that they like the Deer, the Deer D2R dev series. They like suggested changes for crappy uniques. Um, and there's kind of a lot of them. So I think I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be doing more. And thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe. Um, just so you know how the stuff is structured. Deer D2R dev is offline. Okay. All builds on the channel. Non-ladder online. All live streams right now are um, have been ladder. So all the builds are real and online um, that you see on my channel. Thank you guys um, and have a good one. Bye.